with each shot is just there and you can afford a couple of nines here and there but as the final starts to progress we might see some shots in the nine ring later on in the latter stages but at the same time that's also when some of the best shots can appear as the pressure starts to mount the training kicks in So 10.9 from Nancy of India and a 10.9 from Mahuli Ghosh. I'm just expecting Mahuli to start creeping up the scoreboard. She was in fifth, she's now in third place, tied with Lee of Vietnam. They're both on 84.3. Mahuli now taken her fourth shot up to 94.8. And Shen once again is the first to complete that five shot series for the second time. So once this five shot series is completed, then we'll move on to single shots. Tan with her final shot there of 10.6. And 102.7 it could mean she's towards the lower end of the scoreboard. I'm expecting most of the leaders to get up to about 104, 105. Certainly anything over 105 is real world-class shooting and you're bound to be near the top with a score like that. So Nancy the last to complete with a final shot of 10.1. So Nancy of India does lead the competition on 106.1. That's how it was after five, the first five shot series. Valor even was top for India. Nancy was in second place, 0.2 behind. And now it's Mahuli Golsh. I did say keep an eye on her. She was fifth at one point, moving up to second place. And now Golsh of India, 0.6 behind Nancy of India, who leads the competition on 106.1. That's an incredible score. Tip-top, world-class shooting. What a treat when we get to see shooting of that calibre. So now into individual shots. Our first elimination will take place after shot 12. So Tan of Singapore, who is eligible for a quota place, needs to try and move up the scoreboard in order to try and stay in this final because there are only two quota places available for the Paris Olympic Games. And the three countries eligible for those are the Islamic Republic of Iran, Vietnam and Singapore. So we have a tie for second. Shen of the People's Republic of China on 115.6 alongside Golsh of India. Still, meanwhile, it's Nancy of India who leads, 116.4. Starting to create a bit of a gap, a 0.8 gap at this stage of a final in a rifle competition is pretty good going. So Tan of Singapore is 0.6 behind Amini of the Islamic Republic of Iran. So it does mean whoever stays in this final takes a quota place. 10.8 from Amini. That's a great shot. And she just rests on her rifle, hoping that it's enough. And it is because Tan has hit a 9.1. Meanwhile, some whooping and cheering from the Indian supporters. 
for the other scores that are still taking place. So leaving us in eighth place, representing Singapore, is Natanya Tan. So by virtue, that does now mean that the quota places will go to Vietnam and the Islamic Republic of Iran. And that's now no matter what happens in terms of medals. So Natanya Tan of Singapore leaves the competition in eighth place on a score of 121.9. She was eighth earlier on after 10 shots. And then as you can see now adjusted means she now leaves. And there are the Olympic rings, the logo of the Olympic Games to signal that the Islamic Republic of Iran and Vietnam have an invaluable and priceless quota place for the Paris Olympic Games. And I think the crowd, that's a mixture of applause and encouragement to try and clap along to this shooting final. But I'm sure if you're from Vietnam or you're here to represent and look for the Islamic Republic of Iran, you may be already celebrating because of the quota place. So Nancy of India still leads the competition now with a difference of 0.9. It was 0.8, it's increased just ever so slightly as we just look at Yi Yun So shots over the last few or so. Just a bit of a peak in the middle there, almost looks like a skyline from New York City. So you'll see there the load command and the pellet doesn't go into the rifle until the load command is given and then it's about taking the rifle off its rest and the rifle rest can be no higher than your shoulder and then settling in to try and take your best shot so Eun So of the Republic of Korea once again Amini of the Islamic Republic of Iran finds herself in an elimination battle there is 0.8 between them and a 10.9 <laughs> from Amini of the Islamic Republic of Iran. What a shot this stage. Meanwhile, a 10.5 from Iyun So. Well, that is world class, but it's not enough in this instance. So Iyun So of the Republic of Korea finishes 1.2 behind Amini. And Iyun So leaves us in seventh place. enough to keep you in a competition such as this. So Eun So leaves on a total of 144.5. And there you see it confirmed in seventh place. Nancy of India, meanwhile, continues to lead now with a difference of 1.0. She's just starting to increase that ever so slightly. It was 0.8, then it was 0.9. Now the difference is 1.0 between Nancy and Shen of the People's Republic of China. A tie for third place as it stands. Mahuli Ghosh, who was down towards the middle part of the scoreboard, has now managed to stick around the third position. But there's still a fair bit to go. And Valor even just that dodgy shot, shot 10. Down in the mid nines, everything else has been a 10 or above. So Nancy of India continues to lead. The difference has been reduced from 1.0 to 0.6. But Amini of the Islamic Republic of Iran, who has already got a quota place for the Paris Olympic Games, is once again in an elimination battle. She is 0.9 behind Valarivan of India. Now, each time Amini has been facing elimination, She's pulled out a remarkable shot. Last time it was a 10.9. So let's see what Amini can do here. Once again, Amini. This time in sixth place in an elimination battle against Valarivan of India. Point 0.9 is the difference. Oh, a 10.4. Is that enough? Amini rests on her rifle. She hopes it's not. A 10.5 from 
but it even means that Amini will be leaving us now in sixth place. However, there's bound to be an even bigger round of applause because representing the Islamic Republic of Iran, Fatima Amini. And she prefers to be called Nida, so we will call her that for this purpose. So Nida Amini leaves in sixth place. But as you can see on your screen, with the Olympic logo next to her name, the quota place is in the bag. So how's it looking at the top then? Is it Nancy of India that still leads? Indeed it is. 169.3 is the total. She's quite a margin now. Is that 1.6 in front of Shen? It's 0.6, sorry. Just doing my maths ever so quickly, too quickly in fact. So 0.6 is the difference. There's Johnny Sopriyantu, who is the president of the Indonesian Shooting and Hunting Association. And we're bound to hear the Indian supporters over the remainder of this final because we have three Indian athletes left. One from Vietnam and one from the People's Republic of China, Shen and Li, respectively. So that was shot 17. This is shot 18 for fifth place. And Li of Vietnam is only 0.3 behind Valerivan of India. So Lee is on a total of 178. Meanwhile, Nancy continues to lead, but the difference is 0.1. Shen from the People's Republic of China is just behind. 0.1 is the difference at the top between second and first. It's another dramatic 10 meter rifle final. I won't give away the result of the men's final earlier, but I would certainly recommend you watch it. It's one of the best 10 metre air rifle finals I've seen in a while. It was absolutely superb. Meanwhile, the focus is on these two athletes at the moment. So Valor even with a 10.6, Lee with a 10.7. Which means the gap is only 0.1. And that means that Lee of Vietnam is leaving this final ever so cruel but three of the differences are 0.1 at the moment there's only a difference of 0.7 between third and second place all the other differences are 0.1 so that just shows you how close it is and a quota place for Vietnam and for Li Te 20 years old she was fifth last year in the Asian Championships as a junior and now finishes fifth in this senior final and with a priceless quota place for the Paris Olympic Games, which begins at the end of July later in the summer. So, as I said, look at those differences, 0 0.1, 0 0.7 and 0.1. This is ever so close. So India guaranteed two medals. Shen has taken the lead by 0.1 from Nancy. And I'm sure Mahuda Ghosh will also like to be in there for a medal. Ten point nine from Valerivan. Great shot at this stage. Amazing. You can't do any better than a ten point nine. And Shen continues to lead, but it's only a difference of 0.1. Some real small margins here. 0.1 between Nancy and Shen. 0.3 between Valarivan and Nancy. And then Gosh of India. An Indian 1, 2, 3 in places sec second, third and fourth. Gosh is only 0.4 behind. 0.5 behind even. So India battled it out 
One Indian athlete has to go. One will remain in the final and will be guaranteed of a medal. Will it be Valor even? Will it be Gauche? The difference is 0 0.5. Here we go. Valerivan with a 10.7. So Mahuli Ghosh will be leaving this final because it's impossible for her to catch up. As it turns out, she matches that with a 10.7, but there's still a 0.5 gap. So Mahuli Ghosh of India, who was a gold medalist yesterday in the mixed team, now leaves this final in fourth place with so many other medals to her name so far. Today wasn't to be in terms of claiming a medal. So just inserts her safety flag into her rifle. And I'm sure is disappointed. I had a quick word with her before and she was hopeful for another medal today. But I'm sure at the same time she'll be pleased that Valor Even and Nancy are still in this final. And are guaranteed a gold, silver or bronze. Just depends what colour. So that was after 18 shots. Now adjusted to after 20. And it's a tie at the top, so close between Nancy of India and Shen of the People's Republic of China, both on 210.7. What a final this is. What a conclusion. Ten point seven from Shen. And a 10.7 from Valor Even, and a 10.5 from Nancy of India. So that was shot 21. And now the next shot is for the bronze medal. And we have a tie for second place. And then there's only a 0.2 difference between the two tied at second and first place. Such a close final. Who is going to take the bronze medal? Who will survive to battle it out for gold and silver? Two of the world's greatest rifle shooting nations, the People's Republic of China and India. So all three settle into their shot. Will Nancy be the first to shoot? And she is a 10.8, great shot. And Shen with a 10. Valor even now, this could all switch round. And a 10.7. And the Indian crowd go crazy. And rightly so, because Shen has dropped down to a bronze medal. But let's face it, it's still a bronze. It means India will march on for a gold and silver. And you can see how delighted the rest of the Indian team are. But for 17-year-old Shen Yufan, of the People's Republic of China. She had a silver yesterday in the mixed team and it's now a bronze medal for today. So once again, it's another medal for the People's Republic of China at the Asian Championships 2024. What a performance from this 17-year-old athlete. Still got to remember, pretty much a junior and ever graceful. Walks back heel to toe in her shoes which is all good, it's all part of the rule book. And joins the coach and takes a seat. What a climax that was for the bronze medal. So here we go, India guaranteed the silver and gold. It's only a difference of 0.1. Will it be Valor even? Will it be Nancy? If you're here to support India, then I'm sure you're not that bothered. But likewise, if you know any of the athletes personally, then I'm sure you have your favourites. 10.2 from Nancy. Let's see what Valor even can hit here. A 10.1. Ooh, interesting. Shot 23. And now one to go unless we go to a shoot-off. And there is a possibility of that happening. If it does happen, it'll be the first shoot-off we've had of these Asian Championships. But one thing's for sure, spread the word, because these finals that we're having here at the Asian Games, Asian Championships even, are just absolutely tip-top and world-class. I thought the men's final was good. 
This one is right up there as well. If you love the world of shooting, you love the world of 10 metre rifle, then spread the word on our YouTube channel. Make your comments of support. Send it to as many people as you know. Get them to watch it and see how exciting a final like this can be. 10.6 from Nancy. She needs a 10.8 or higher to take it to a shoot-off, and it's only a 10.7. I mean, I say only. It's still a world-class shot. But Nancy has done it. She led the competition for a while and now starts to smile. And it's Nancy Nancy of India on a total of 252.8. Just 0.1 shy of Arpuvi Chandela's Asian record. So that just again shows you the standard that we had here. Another 0.1 and she'd have equaled the Asian record. But it's a